you are welcome back to this channel thank you for stumbling on this video for those who don't yet know me i'm lydia and i'm a kamonia based in turkey and i'm here to tell you guys about the 10 common jobs you can actually find in turkey you know looking for a job in turkey may quite seem difficult but trust me it's because we lack information and we don't apply also so this video will actually help you on how to get a job or find a job if you are in Turkey or in Istanbul, in Izmir, in Antalya. So please watch this video to the end. For all my returning subscribers, I want to say thank you so much for this amazing love that you guys are showing me. And if you're new, please subscribe, like this video and turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload new videos, you'll be the first to be notified. To all my returning subscribers, again, I say thank you so much. So let's dive back into our topic of today. In this video, I'll be telling you guys about the 10 common jobs you can find in Turkey as a foreigner. Most people have been writing me and asking me, please, I want to come to Turkey. Are there jobs in Turkey? What can I do in Turkey? So this video will definitely help you. If you are my follower and you actually live in Istanbul or you want to come to Turkey, please watch this video to the end to know exactly where you belong or which one you can do. So in this video, I will be talking about the various jobs, their prices and maybe their requirements, what they need. So the first job I have here is what we call a factory job. You know, most countries always, uh, they have these jobs that we call factory jobs, same as Turkey. Turkey actually have factory jobs and if you go to Istanbul precisely, we call it Chabu Chabu. If you come to Istanbul and you pronounce the word Chabu Chabu, everybody will say, oh yeah, 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 I know that's a factory job. So definitely, that's the first thing and the most common job that people actually find it easily to get. So the prices ranges from 3,000 Turkish Lira to around 68,000 Turkish Lira, depending on the company or where you are working. So the good thing about this job is that they pay weekly. You can actually get your money, your money weekly if you want. But if you want that to give you in a month, definitely they will still give you in a month. So guys, there is no requirement for this job. All you need to get is just your physical power, get the energy to be able to stand or if you're sitting, getting like doing what you need to sit to sit the whole day. If you are doing what you have to stand, you stand the whole day. So you will just need just your energy, your strength to do this factory job. And trust me, it's studious guys. So you must be really energetic and young to be able to do this kind of job. So the second one we have here, which is also very common, is teaching. Most people here actually teach English language because we know we are in a foreign land and here they speak Turkish language. So most schools need native speakers who can help their kids to understand or to know English better. You know, the world is becoming develop and each key and the kids or the young generation of today wants to travel they want to go to places so definitely they can't go to another country speaking just their language there so english is definitely required to go to any place that you want so turkey has developed now a system where they teach their kids english in schools so to be able to teach Kids here, you must have a certificate to prove that you are eligible to teach. We have also TOEFL here, that um, teaching English uh, for foreigners. I think, yeah, teaching English for uh, as a foreign language, teaching English as a foreign language. So you definitely need that certificate. And also, the prices vary. You know, we have kindergarten, we have colleges, we have universities. So. Somebody working in a kindergarten cannot have the same salary as somebody teaching in the university. So the prices here, I cannot actually tell, but just know that their prices are not the same. In a kindergarten, they can pay you 5,000 Turkish Lira, 4,000 Turkish Lira, while in the university, they can give you 10,000 Turkish Lira, 7,000 Turkish Lira. So it depends, which is about around $400 
if we actually convert it some will give 500 why not 600 and so on so now i've not actually converted the money so i'm just doing a guesswork here by converting the money into dollars another job uh if you teach in a in a like how do we uh, in, a, in a in an institution where they just practice just english like uh english time there's uh, an institution called english time that's a language school yeah a language school if you choose in a language school here we have american school we have english time something like that america something but it's actually a language school there the pay per hour so definitely they can give you seven dollars an hour they can give you ten dollars for one hour so it's depending it, it depends on your agreement when you you got your interview or you were interviewed so i think that's it guys so those are the last already two i have mentioned the next one here is also very common it's called nanny yeah and this is mostly for uh, for for ladies about the age of 25 to 30 something so it depends on the family and again here it is actually well paid guys it is actually well paid you can be paid a thousand dollar for a month you can also be paid like seven thousand Turkish lira. You can be paid five thousand Turkish lira. So it also depends on the agreement or the agent. So if you actually need jobs here, also you can go through agent to get the job. But know that you are going to pay agent fee if you are passing through an agent. So that's it. The for this nanny job, we you take care of the kids or you can clean. You can iron, you know what we call back home a house a housemaid, yeah, like that, or house help. So here we call it nanny also and so on. So if you are a lady and you are interested in that, you can actually work here as a nanny. You know, now they don't discriminate. Before they did not want foreigners to do it, to do or to take care of their kids or and so on and so forth. So but now. You can actually do it in all, all countries, whether you are from Tanzania, you are from Cameroon, you are from Nigeria, you are from Uganda, you are from a uh, Philippine, you are from, um, in fact, name the countries. No matter where you come from, if you want to do this, you will. So the next job here also we have elderly home, like to go take care of elder people. In fact, excuse me guys, the nanny job, you, know, you don't need any certificate. No certificate. They just need your age, like your level. Like they need to know more about you, more information about you. That's all. And also to get more advantage in this, you have to know a little bit of Turkish language. Like a child can come to you, or I need this. You should be able to understand what the child wants. Or please help me with this. You should be able to know what you want. So with Turkish language you will actually be advantage you have advantage like in working and that so we also have elderly home like to take care of other people so guys and that also is also well paid you can have around one thousand dollars a month seven thousand Turkish lira and and so forth the next one here also are for business people let's just say okay let me just say business you can actually do business here by buying and selling of textile products you know most africans here are really into business you know we have customers from uh, africa that's back home we have customers from europe we have customers from america people can actually send money for you to buy their stuff and send it to them so business is also one of the things that is really booming here in Turkey. So if you come here and for the meantime you don't have a job, I would advise you to start with the business first. You know, Turkey is one of the country that produces good quality dresses or textile shoes, bags, and branded on branded. So enter into business, guys, and definitely you will succeed if you have customers. Exactly. So here, yeah, if you really if you are really into business and you calculate your you have customers for a month you can even make more than one thousand dollars if you really have customers but if you don't have customers in fact here i cannot actually determine 
the salary ranges or so it depends on you and the customers that you have so that's it guys i'm not uh, here we don't need any certificate it's just trust your customers should be able to trust you so that's it we also have the like engineers a construct like construct is it construction engineers and doctors like that yeah if you have certificates to prove that you are an engineer you are you are a doctor you are a nurse definitely you get a job here and it is also well paid guys if you have a if you have an engineer certificate my god you'll be well paid here yeah, around one thousand dollars one thousand two hundred dollars a month and here in Turkey it's good money seriously here in Turkey it's good money so guys uh that's it for 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 the doctoring part or the engineering part it's also a well-paid job here and something that you can find the problem is that we lack information we don't do research and when you do research you apply for them if you are online you want to do something online apply for it online you definitely get it if you don't have it keep trying keep pushing one day you will have it if you don't get it at that moment keep pushing maybe uh in one month time in two weeks time in one week time the company can actually call you uh, another job you can actually find here is to become a translator or an editor if you can edit or if you can translate documents you can translate something to somebody then like english uh germany uh, uh, german language english language french language if you can translate this you will definitely get a good salary from here but you also need a certificate to prove that you can actually translate and definitely you still need turkish language because you can't translate to turkish to these turkish people without understanding what they are saying so you definitely be able to understand turkish language to understand uh, french or english or german language so any of it any language that you can even uh, Russian language, even uh, in fact, name it any language that you can, you can actually translate, guys. You can get a job. We have a lot of Cameroonians here working in shops, working in some uh, consultation companies, working in like where they do Kim Leaks, where they can just translate for you, especially for those working in the shops, guys. You just translate to English to your, to your boss that okay, this customer says he or she wants this. How can we do then the man will tell you that okay tell him this this is going to come this day and so on so you just need to to know the language and that's it you are, you are good to go to be a translator and so on we also have entertainers yes turkey actually needs entertainers this is summer now this now that i'm recording this video this time this july it's actually summer in turkey and we have a lot of tourists coming in from different parts of the world so definitely when somebody comes to a hotel he or she would like to be entertained and so on so turkey need entertainers and they pay them very well if you are able to entertain people guys trust me apply for it go for jobs go and search for it go to antalya uh, uh, particularly because antalya is a place where most people always go to for to enjoy and then we have a lot of hotels there big hotels five stars hotel three stars hotel so go there guys go there and search for jobs there are jobs there you can make it just entertaining people and you are good to go you make money through it so the problem that we have here is that we lack information we don't do research i think that's it guys so another one here you can actually be paid let me say thousand dollars for it a month if you are good in your job, you can be paid $700 to $1,000. So, you see, guys, that's good money here in Turkey. The next one also, we have hotel receptionist. If you are good, like, in talking, to receive people, to do this, to do one thing or the other, to translate also, because normally, as a receptionist, you need to know maybe... They'll ask, okay, do you know French? Do you know English? We need more of English people. We need more of French people. We need somebody who can speak German language and so on. You see, you see that most of these things also goes with language. And you see, guys, so make sure you can speak English, 
French and so on. So it must not be a, a force fully or forced by force. So, but just know a little of English when you come here. If you are from a French speaking country, if you are from an English speaking country, just also know a little bit of, of, of French and so on. You are good to go, guys. So just be a, 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 a hotel receptionist and that's a job. You are, you are well paid for it. They can pay you 7,000 7, Turkish lira a month. They can pay you 8,000 to 10,000 Turkish lira a month. And that's it, guys. You are good to go. Another one is to work in, in the farm. We have people also that we have farms here and they need people to come for harvest, to come and do this, you know. One thing or the other, just do research, search for the right companies, and you have a job, guys. So, guys, thank you so much. I think I've come to the end of this video. And please, if I've missed anything, this one, guys, please, this video is based on my own little research. You can actually do more to get uh, the kind of job you want, you know, or depending on your certificate. So, this one, I just mix everything together both the one you need certificates and uh, the ones you don't need certificate so please do more research on your own these are just my personal findings so thank you so much for watching and stay blessed ciao ciao don't forget to share the video and i remain your